Is your house value exploding? Are you busting at the seams? Is your piggy bank loaded? What's in your wallet? My name is Barry Horvath, and this is Moving Forward TV, your local market update. And I am Dylan Gaston. Thanks for joining us today, New. We are not talking about Capital One cards. But what's in your wallet? I know. We're talking about home equity. Equities, they are on the rise. Values, just in general. Well, actually, we're talking about appreciation. Appreciation in the marketplace. <laughs> and this is on a national level. Some recent articles and such and news reports have been showing that, as we all know, values have been increasing, which no. is one of the reasons why there's not no. a lot on the inventory Did you see that piggy bank? Market. It just busted. Yes. But, you know, I got to tell you, it's a little bit on the scary side, isn't it? But, I mean, I, I, for one, you know, I don't have a short memory. And I yes. can remember 05, 06, yeah. when, like... <laughs> Yeah, the world went kind of crazy. It is a little bit on the scary side because, but but on the bright side, things are. It's nice that we're getting the appreciation that we're getting in our market. It's not as quick as like California's like up like thirty percent and right. Texas is up real high. They're doing a lot of cash out refinances yeah. right yes, now all are. over the country. Actually, California and Texas are the number yeah. one states in the country with values on the rise. So. So what is happening? So people are starting to reach into that house piggy bank right. again. <laughs> Remember, your house is not an ATM. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the rippling effect of this is actually uh, Home Depot. Right, on the, good, on the Lowe's, bright side. <laughs> home improvements right. are having record sales. Right. Car dealerships right. are having record sales. So buy stock in Home Depot and in Lowe's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so this whole rippling effect of appreciation, people are going back into taking cash out. So refinances are up but for, in record numbers. Actually, applications were up 67% for cash out refis over last year. Cash out refis. That's, that's big. I mean, we haven't seen that in almost, what, in eight years, yes. right? You know, yep. I mean, since like the, the bubble in 07. Now, so there's other good reasons for this, Delyn. Well, it's helping. It's helping the economy. But, it's helping. Excuse me. I was making a point. <laughs> I am too. It's helping Home Depot. It's right, helping. Let's let our audience decide. Whose point do you want to hear first, mine or hers? <laughs> mine. All right, go Ladies ahead. Ladies before gentlemen, um, our contractors. Our contractors are all getting busy because people are actually staying in their homes and improving them and things like that. Our contractors are getting busier. Um, and people, as you mentioned, the, the car dealerships, instead of taking out car loans, are taking home equity loans because it is tax deductible. Yes, and it and is a low buying, rate. Yeah. And some of these cars, you can, like, buy a house for what the car I costs. know. I know. The base <laughs> price on shopping? a car. I've been car shopping. I'm like, I didn't want another house. I got I enough know, of those. I, I don't want to drive my house payment. It's crazy what a car goes for right now. I know. So, and home equity loans are tax deductible. So, it, it, it does make sense. I just get nervous, yes. you know, because, you know, I've been doing this so long and it just, it's so scary. I, I don't want to see a bubble again. Exactly. But the remodel mm -hmm. companies are benefiting from this whole rippling effect Very much. right now. They're all backed up. I mean, I, I heard they're like, like eight, nine months out, yeah, you know, there, just to get like some, your bathroom there, remodeled there or whatever. There are some companies. And there's good reason for why people are remodeling because. There is limited inventory. So if you've been out house shopping, you know what I'm talking about. There's not a lot of good. Not in our just, area. There's just not a lot of good inventory. So what do people choose to do? Rather than move, they fix what they got. Right. Okay. I mean, that's just that's just the way it goes. Right. So, so the appreciation. Oh, oh did sorry. you drop something? My glasses. <laughs> sorry. Um, I know. So everybody is staying in their homes now, which is good, and they're fixing them. So if you are one of those people and you want to fix up your house, 
it is a great time to do that. And, and if you do want to sell it, right now the inventory is low. I know you realtors out there are all looking for listings. So it is a great time to sell your house. A, the values are, have really gone up. And B, there's not a lot on the market right now. So it's what we call a seller's market. So sellers are kind of getting their price. And C, appreciation has gone up one trillion dollars. <laughs> And that's a fact, a trillion dollars countrywide of appreciation. Yes. Who doesn't want to cash out on I that? Know. That's, a, that's a real number. Isn't that something? That's, that is that's scary. crazy. Scary. That's crazy. I'm sorry, but it is scary to me. But it shouldn't be scary to me, right? Because? Oh, because, you know what? It's so funny because. We're smarter. Well, I am, but. As a and, nation. <laughs> As a nation, we're smarter. I get Let smarter me every day. All right. Actually. The average loan to value on these cash out refis is at 68%, which is really still good. leaving the homeowner in a 32% equity position right now. And just to give you an idea, years ago when everybody was using their house as an ATM, they were doing 100%. They were 100%. taking out every dime. Remember, remember the 125 program? Yeah, my and house's <laughs> worth 100. Yeah, we'll loan you 125 on that. <laughs> no. Sure. No every problem. dime and then some yeah. was sucked out of the house. And today, no, they it's can't. Not that. Well, We're not doing that. And there's good reason for that. The underwriters are handcuffed. The, right. They're afraid. The appraisers are handcuffed. Well, you know, all of that fraud that was going on and the values that, you there know. There was fraud? Um, where, Did yeah. people call you all the time on this? where the values were being artificially inflated and um, the appraisers were changing comps like every 20 minutes because it was crazy, it was going up that fast. So all of that, with all of the new laws that have been put in place in the last seven, eight years, have been to protect us from that happening again. So consequently, the the appreciation that we're seeing, although it might be scary on one hand, it's it's actually pretty solid. It, yes. it really is. It's a real appreciation. It's not the false appreciation that we had so fast before. So it is solid. Like like I said, you know, on a cash out refinance, you know, lenders um, guidelines allow like seventy five percent of value that you can go up to if you're pulling cash out and they're not even there. Like Barry said, it's only at 68% on a national average that people are pulling out. Yes. So it's it's very solid. And speaking of new laws, Delyn, <laughs> coming up, we're going to talk about the, the overall expense to the consumer of the effects of TRID. And we'll cover that in a minute. Revolutionary in his field, Dr. Benatti created, perfected, and patented the Benatti Spine Procedures. Using his genius, Benatti invented precise tools necessary to minimize surgery, scarring, anesthesia, and recovery. So successful are the Benatti Spine Procedures, they consistently reflect over 94% patient satisfaction. 45,000 successful procedures have been performed exclusively at our location. Nearly half our patients suffer from failed back and neck surgeries at other facilities. Benatti succeeds where others fail. Everyone's story is different, so why be limited to just one or two options? With Norcom's Norflex Home Loan, you're given the flexibility to tell your story. Pick your terms from 8 to 30 years, all while maintaining a low, fixed mortgage rate. You can pay off your loan more quickly or choose a term based on your budget and timeline. Whatever you do with the Norflex Home Loan, make it part of your financial plan. Norflex. Short term. Long term. Your terms. Apply online at norcommortgage.com. All right, we're back, everybody, and now we're going to talk about not only your house exploded in value, but now we're going to talk about the other effects of... I know you're tired. I know trid, you don't want to hear trid, about... Trid, trid, trid. Yeah, let's talk we're about... We're also tired of trid. I promise you, we're not going to talk about trid ever again <laughs> yeah, right? after this show. Ever, ever. I think, I think for the next three months, that's all we're all going to be talking about. Well, trid is try, so we got three months, trid. right? So trid, the other name for it is... Kabiyo. <laughs> <laughs> it's no before you No know before you owe. And that's the whole name of the game, right. no before you owe. Believe it or not, the law for TRID was actually written over two years ago. And it's just and now done, come, yeah. yeah. And, it's and actually two years ago. And it's just now coming into effect. Go figure. Two years from a government agency to get something implemented. I know. Yeah, really. <laughs> well, but, it took them five years to come up with, um, from now on, everybody has to actually prove their income. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a great Hey, there's role. a novel idea. I know. So the effects of TRID are basically going to be very costly to the consumer. And because of the delays, the longer time closings, right. 
now we're going to need longer lock periods. So who's gonna pay for that? Where before you might've got a 30 day lock, now consumers are looking at a 60 day lock on a loan, which is a more costly, and who's paying for that, Delin? I know. <laughs> well, if, if we're smart. Just up, answer the up question, front. please. Who's paying for that, Delin? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> My kids do that to me all the time. <laughs> Who's going to um, take the crush out? <laughs> not it. Not, not it. <laughs> That's so funny. So the longer lock periods are going to be costly. And then what about all the software that these lenders had to implement to make this happen? One trillion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been very, very cost. Who's paying for this? Guess who? You are. Yes. It is. It's cost, it's cost millions and millions of dollars for all of the, you know, because this isn't just a, a small thing. You guys all know this. This is national, and we're all doing it at the exact same time period. So the entire country, every single bank, every single lending institution, every single closing attorney, every single title company, Every one of us are affected on a national level. Well, that's kind of like, you know, if you thought the lines at Dunkin' Donut on National Coffee Day were long. Yes, <laughs> right? yep. It's going to take a little while to get through this. On the bright side. There's a bright side? On the, yes, on the bright side. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> um, Everybody's doing it at the same time. So it's oh, that's all just, you got? Yeah, that's it. We're that's all, all I got for the so bright side. So we're all in misery together. <laughs> yes. Thanks for that. I, I think that if... That's all you got? Yeah, patience. Patience, patience. It's going to teach us all patience. Oh, okay. All right. I have, yeah, okay. I'm really good with that, Dylan. Thanks for that. So it's costing us $1 trillion. It's longer timelines line, yeah. for closings. Yeah. It's longer lock periods. Well, it's new software. It's new systems in place. And the it, real bright side. The real bright side is is it's protecting the consumer. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought you were going to pick up on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, before you owe. I no, gotcha. before you owe. So it really is a, a matter of you know. I, I it's really kind of funny because I just had a realtor say to me recently, "Isn't there anything we can do to like speed this up?" Everybody's saying it's going to take so long, take so long. No. <laughs> the answer is no. no. There isn't anything because this was intentional. Keep in mind, this was intentional during all those crazy years. You know, you the keep, aftermath. You keep going back to those today. Well, that's that's what all these changes are because of that. So all of these changes that we're going through now are because of all of that stuff. And one of the biggest complaints in, you know, when you sit back and, you know, you have this big explosion, you sit back and you look and you say, okay, what can we do to fix this so it doesn't happen again? Well, one of the biggest things that p consumers were saying is they felt rushed. They were rushed into closing. They were rushed into appraisals. They were pushed. They were pushed. They didn't even know what they were signing. Listen, you're that getting came excited. Back over and over and over again. I know. I'm on my soapbox now. <laughs> You're just going to have to be patient here because <laughs> now and I'm rolling. They, wait, they showed up at the closing table and there was this magical fee that just appeared on the HUD. You know, changes at the last the, minute, all remember kinds the, Remember the like PETA that. fee? Did you ever put one of those on the HUD? I never did, but I did hear about the it. The PETA fee. Yeah, yeah, think about what that might be. Yeah, pain in the ass. Hey, Believe it or not. Did you just say that? I can say that, <laughs> right? Can I say that, producer? Yeah, see, he's saying yes. All right, so you put a PETA fee on the HUD for for, for $10 million. And sadly, people were doing that. And it's, the rate changed. It's real, yeah. Remember so that? All of a sudden, but I applied for a 4% loan. Well, we didn't have that that day. Sorry, it's 5 so you want to buy this house or not? Now you're at 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. So, so now you're going to have three extra days to think about if you right. really, you know, and, and if there's any changes. And all of this changes. was done intentionally to protect the consumer. Slow everything Wait. down so that boom, the boom. consumer, ah! yeah. Second gear here. <laughs> Go away down. Downshift. <laughs> Remember those things? They call them stick shifts? Yes, I have one. My dad had one on the column. Was a 60s? Oh, I actually drove one of those ones. Did you really? Yeah, I don't know of, where the gears are. It was are. really weird. It, it was very weird. But you could put First your 8-track in forward. and listen to it, <laughs> and it would change songs. You remember that? Okay, in we're in the middle of the song, trade here. Remember, <laughs> remember the middle of the song? It'd go, you got to slow down. Click, click. Slow down. And then go to the next song. Right in the middle of the song, it would just say, uh, never mind. Sorry. It's not important. He digresses. <laughs> <laughs> Bunny trail. All right, we're off. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> we're sorry, off in another direction. Sorry. Anyway, Finish so about back trade. to trade. We're just, I know we're all tired of trade, but the bottom line is patience, patience, patience. Patience, patience, patience. This is your show. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to have to slow down. We're just going to have to um, be patient with it. There is another bright side. Oh, there's the other two. Bright side. Well, and Hope it's better than it's the first bright side. The first bright side is protecting consumers. Okay, go ahead. Um, it's a rumor 
It's not but a there is going to fact. be a grace period. No, the CFPB actually has come out publicly and said they're going to allow tell a grace us how period. Long. No, it could be till Monday for all we know. <laughs> so if you screw up on the new trid law, the CFPB is probably going to say, "All right, we're going to forgive you this time. We got a grace period till you get it right." So right. That's, that's all there is to it. So yeah. we're going to talk about the upcoming events coming up. I know this is going to shock you, Delyn, but we have some community <laughs> events coming up. Yay! We do. <laughs> Us? Yes, we do. We got lots of stuff going on. Okay, let's let's just run down the list. It like, is fall. Yeah, yeah let's just. It is the season. This so is October twentieth is Dancing with the Local Stars, and guess who's not dancing this year? <laughs> Thank you. He did it last year. <laughs> this is for the Junior Service League, which is an awesome organization. So it it's is at Spartan Manor. Spartan Manor. Yep. Tuesday night. Tickets are still available. Just reach out to Barry or I. We know how to get tickets yeah, for we, you. We know people. We know people. Yes, we, we do. We know lots of people dancing actually. And it's a it's a real fun night. It is a fun night. So it's like forty bucks to go. So bring your piggy bank or just do a cash out refi on your house no. so you can afford to go. <laughs> And we can help you with that. I'm just kidding. For, imagine somebody saying, what's the purpose of your cash out refi? I want to go to Dancing with the Local <laughs> All Stars. All these events we have coming up. <laughs> we yeah, have I a need, list of I events. Need so All right, let's go on. Refi. We have, this is a freebie one. Okay, we got the job fair. That's on October 29th. Actually, I had to write these down. That is at the me. Verizon Center. Yeah, uh, so they're looking for vendors. Trouble Creek and Little Road. They're looking actually for vendor booths. They're, they actually waive the vendor fee for right. you. So if you have a company that wants to put out a job, you know, and get out in the community right. and hire some good people that are, might be looking for work, that's, so, that's a great place to do it. And they should go to uh, Connections. Right. On Main Street in Newport Ritchie, Casey. Casey yeah. is the one who uh, she handles that. handling all of this. And then October 31st, we have Halloween. There's a, besides <laughs> Halloween, <laughs> there's a home show Remember on last the 31st. Week we had the ghost? Local. <laughs> There's a local home show also at the Verizon Center, and um, that is uh, open for vendor booths right now. Uh, those aren't free, but they're no. definitely reasonably priced. Those so, require cash out refi as well. No, they don't. They're actually extremely, you know, you go to the one at like, you know, the convention center in Tampa, you're yeah. going gonna to need a cash out those, refi. But this is local, so expensive. more local businesses for us guys yep. in the local community, and that's on the 31st. And then guess what? In November? We're not doing nothing. <laughs> We're taking no, that's, a that's nap. No, that's actually not true. The first Tuesday of the month, we will have the realtor training at yes, the office. At, 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 at the office. So. Right. We are going to have, we, those of you who missed last week's Lunch training, and learn. it was great. It was great. packed. It was it packed. Was packed. And we did um, certification for the first time home buyer yep. program. We will do those probably coming up ongoing. So by all means, keep in first touch with Tuesday us. First Tuesday of the we'll month. You know. Always, always. And then December 5th, we have the the holiday season upon us and I it'll know. be river lights boat parade which 
which is nice, which is right here in Newport Ritchie. And it's just, you know, we're, gonna, we're looking for registrants to, registrants, is that a word? Yeah, that is. Okay, good. cool. I'm Let's actually proud of you. That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> registrants. We're looking for registrants. Well, actually, we're looking for boat owners that want to decorate and float down the river and have like 5,000 people cheer for you. And I heard, the, I heard the Grinch is coming. And the Grinch will be there. <laughs> yes, that's the rumor. And speaking of the Grinch, December 11th, the next weekend, the Grinch will be in town. Yes, he will. It'll be fun. It'll be at Spartan Manor. And tickets will be... And that is be... a big fundraiser that we do every year. This is going to be our fifth year. And this is one Hard that we believe. put on. We don't put all these on, mind you. This is just community events. But this is one that is dear, near and dear to our hearts. Yeah. We usually pick a local family and support them, somebody who Actually, is in need. Actually, we pick... So get us information if you know anybody who might need a little extra help for the holidays. Last year, we right. were actually able to support four different families, right. which was great because the event was so it successful. It grows every year. And this year, it's going to be at Spartan mm -hmm. Manor. Tickets will be on sale pretty soon, so they'll please on, reach out to Barrier yeah, Eye. They'll be on www.wpba.biz. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> soon enough. <laughs> yes. And, of course, the Grinch is going to partner this year with Winterfest, which will be over at... Seven Springs in the YMCA field. That's on right. December 12th. And that is sponsored by Dr. Unger. Yes, it that, is. And I understand Florida he's going to have and rehab. snow. That's the rumor. Snowing in Florida. That's yeah, the rumor anyway. That's got to be costly. So anyway, that's all we're going to tell you about. And if you want to know about more, um, yeah, text me. because we'll Yeah, because we always got that. He's like the social chair of the community. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, that's it. We appreciate you guys watching and sharing and um, get us out on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Tumblr. What else do we Tumblr? Have? Oh, yeah, I just threw that one in. You're not tumbling yet? <laughs> Dylan, keep I up. remember in toddlers on these Tumblr cups. We got it all going on. Yeah, LinkedIn, I know. just share it. All that. Share it, like us, forward this out, and. Uh, you know, just get involved with your community. So That's right. It's important. Thanks yeah. so much, everyone. We are today and every day moving forward. We'll Have see a great everybody week. next week. Bye-bye.